for the second night in a row. Senate Democrats pulled an all-nighter. They're still at work, as you can see, taking a stand against one of President Donald Trump's cabinet nominees. Getting a live look right now at the Senate floor, where Democrats are voicing their concerns about the confirmation of Jeff Sessions. That final confirmation vote is expected sometime today. Action News Jack's anchor Romney Smith is following the very latest on this. She's live in the newsroom. Romney, Democrats are questioning Sessions' commitment now to civil rights. That's right, Don. Critics of the Alabama Republicans say he is not independent from the president, and that raises concerns about whether or not he would fight to protect the civil liberties and civil rights of all Americans. The attorney general is not the president's lawyer. He or she is the people's lawyer. I am not convinced that he would be independent and impartial to the president and federal agencies. It is more important than ever that the Attorney General of the United States has the guts and the independence and the good moral judgment to stand up to the president when he seeks to violate the Constitution and ignore the law. This is a live look from the Senate floor right now. You can see that lawmakers are still speaking. On Tuesday night, Senate Democrats accused the GOP of enforcing Senate rules selectively after Elizabeth Warren, who you just heard from, was accused of violating a rule against deriding another senator. That happened when she began reading a letter written by Martin Luther King's widow, Coretta Scott King, back in 1986 against Senator Sessions' nomination to become a federal judge. I am surprised that the words of Coretta Scott King are not suitable for debate in the United States Senate. I ask leave of the Senate to continue my remarks. The Senator will take her seat. After being barred from speaking, Warren tweeted that she would not be silent about the nominee for Attorney General. She later read the letter in a Facebook post. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says Democrats will also debate Health and Human Service nominee Tom Price, saying President Trump's nominees are the opposite of what he promised during his campaign when he said he would, quote, defend the average person. So we'll pay close attention to what happens. Phil. Sir.